it's Raul with R&D Moving and Storage Supplies. We're back to with another video. We hope you enjoy a wonderful Christmas, lots of good rest, good food, and a lot of great times. We're here to talk, to discuss uh, the next level, next topic, which would be uh, pack, uh, taping boxes. Uh, we've been talking um, a lot over the past few videos about different kinds of boxes, including strengths, single walls, double walls, uh, and today we want to talk about uh, how to tape a box uh, from the beginning of the, from the moment of loading the tape into a tape dispenser to the box being taped. Okay, so we'll start first of all, first of all, with the uh, loading of a tape dispenser. Uh, it's a simple little gadget, but so many people have challenges with these things. We have a uh, fully loaded tape dispenser here. This tape dispenser is ready to go. Pretty much is ready to uh, attach to, to uh, um, fasten tape into the box. So let's have a closer look. Okay, we're gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna show you from the moment of a, um, loading the tape into the tape uh, into the tape dispenser to the moment of using it. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so this is a loaded tape dispenser. Okay, so we. Basically, I'm ready to go. Okay, that's a loaded tape dispenser, functioning beautifully. So let's have a look at the actual parts of the, the tape dispenser and the tape roll, and see how we can put this together. Okay, so we have the the, the tape loading wheel. We have a tension adjuster that adjusts the tension as you tape boxes. You want to make sure you have a certain tension to keep things nice and tight. Okay. Then we have the uh, tape guide, we have a smooth roller, the cutting blade, and we have the uh, pressing wiper, the tape, tape pressing wiper. This is the part when, you, when you're when cutting it, you press, press it down, it basically helps to push the tape against the box as you're cutting it, okay? So, looking at the tape roll, you notice there's a flow to the tape, okay? It flows this way as they roll it into the actual roll. And you see the uh, the pressing wiper, okay? Assuming let's let's get the flow of the tape working together with the pressing wiper, uh, that is wrong. Because when you come around, you're gonna notice that if you if you uh, pull it through, underneath there's no stickiness, okay? So what you need to do, let me just cut this up. We're gonna reverse it back. When you load this the the, the tape dispenser the tape into the tape dispenser, you want to make sure the flow of the tape is against the flow of the pressing wiper. See, you notice how the tape goes this way and the pressing wiper goes that way. This is the right way of doing it, okay? Because when you when you bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, and actually feed it through the tape the the, the tape guide and the actual roller. And now we cut it here. You're gonna see there's a little stickiness. It sticks really nice, and the tape, the uh, the the, the, the um, smooth roller has a certain static to it that helps to keep the tape attached to it. So you so when you're taping, it doesn't the tape doesn't get very messy. Okay, cheaper uh, uh, tape dispensers have a cheaper uh, smooth smooth roller smoothing roller and the smoothing roller tends to be a lot slacks and the tape will falls apart okay but the more expensive uh, tape dispensers will have an actual uh, smoothing roller that actually has a great static like a rubber that keeps the tape always there so when you go to tape it's ready to go and then you notice i can cut it nice smooth and you hear that that squeaking as you go along. That's that's the pressure. That's the, the the tension. If you don't have tension to this part, it actually it runs too smooth, and then you don't have any strength. You don't have you sort of don't have any control as you are taping. Okay. You notice with with tension you have more control. You pull it. There's a certain control, a certain tightness you can add to the tape. But basically, like I said, that the flow of the tape and the roll is opposite to the uh, the uh, pressing wiper. Okay, we are going to put up a picture for you to see. Sir, 
as I mentioned, is a small little gadget, not very complicated, but you'd be surprised how many people have a challenge of actually have the challenge of assembling it together. I had a, a challenge for the longest time, I, and I couldn't, <laughs> so many times I loaded it the wrong way. But it's super easy once you understand that the flow of the tape, the roll of the tape, has to be contrary to the flow, to the direction of the pressing wiper, okay? Once you figure that out, you're good to go, okay? So now let's move on to taping the box. All right, now we're at the point we can tape the box, okay? And to do this, we're gonna use a used box. We're not gonna use a new box. We gotta think of the trees, so we don't waste carton. So we're gonna use a used box to show you the taping, because obviously the newer use doesn't matter. And actually challenging, it's more challenging to actually tape a used box, because it's a little more work than a new one. So, let's focus on taping, uh, the, uh, on first of all, assembling the box, okay? As you, as you assemble the box, you're going to notice the bottom has four flaps. Most often you have a, a larger, a longer flap and a shorter flap. Sometimes they're the same, but most often you're going to see one is longer. Take the shorter, fold it on the inside. Then, you put the longer on the outside. But most important, Either if the flaps are equal or if they are uh, different sizes, is the label, the, the certificate label, which shows the way the gross weight of the box and the crash test of the box. That's this should always be shown at the bottom. You should never cover that up. And the reason being for this is that, the, for example, you're going to see that 99% of the people don't ever look at this label for anything. But if you, when, you, when you're shipping or you're packing a, a truck, professionals usually like to look at the label because they want to know how much weight they put on top of the box before it crashes. It crash, uh, the, the edges crash. That's why we, we need the, uh, the crash test, the weight at the bottom, okay, including the gross weight. So they also know how much, uh, how much, how well they can carry the box if it's heavy, if it's going to fall on them or fall apart on them, or like they, they can, they, ju they, ju they do judge a lot of the, their actions based on this label, okay. But as I mentioned, 99% of the people don't ever look at it. But you want to leave it showing, okay? You should never hide it. All right, so let's focus now on the, on the taping, okay? Let's have a closer look. And I'm going to grab the, my dispenser. The first thing you should know is to bring these, the, the two flaps, the outside flaps, to get together as close as possible, okay? Not always easy, but you should always bring them as close as possible because you want the tape to cover as much as possible on the box. And you start also, when you start, you want to be like a couple inches below the surface, okay? Because you want to make sure there's enough strength to hold the tape from coming apart. So we start from here. I'll start showing from underneath. Nice, nice and deep. I'll do this slowly. Actually, let me do it manually. Like that. You bring it together as close as possible and you run the tape across and you go across again a, a couple inches below the edge, okay? So you do one straight run, a couple inches in below the surface, run across a couple inches below the, the edge again, below the surface again, okay? So this is one single run and once you do it, you want to press it down. Sometimes people talk about the um, when you discuss taping a box. They actually think it's funny. How can you? It's such a simple subject. What, what are you talking about? I can do that no problem. But uh, you're gonna know sometimes that people just notice some people just run it across, run the dispenser across, and it's done. But they never think to actually push the tape down into the actual carton. Carton sometimes has a shiny layer to it. And that layer prevents the tape from really sticking if you don't press it down. So when you lay it, when you when you tape when you tape it, you want to make sure. Oops, let's put this back again here. Fella, don't go anywhere. You still have some work to do. No coffee time yet. No coffee break yet. So basically, you want to press it down and press it all the way into the carton. Okay, that way it sticks really well. If you do that, sometimes it comes apart on you. I know. I know it's kind of funny and people don't believe, but it, it's true. Sometimes it comes apart on you. Especially if the tape, the, the, the adhesive on the tape is not the greatest, it will come apart on you. So you don't want to take any chances. So push it down, really push it down nicely into the box. Okay. Now, 
let's have done another, something else that people don't think about doing. Also, depending on how much strength, how much, how much you load the box, you don't want to go for a single run. If it's just a simple light packaging, light shipping or light move, right? It's no problem. One run, you're good to go. But if it's heavier, you should do the following. Ready? Let's have a closer look. And that is run two runs two extra runs of tape one of them right from where from where from your point of view one on the left again I try to go as far down as I can off the surface okay I suggest two to three inches but I, I try to go as far down as possible because the, the further down you go the more the stronger it is and again I press down the, the tape Press down the tape and there you go. Also, if you're moving just across town or across, let's say across country, but let's say you're moving yourself, uh, most often people, again, this would be perfect for the box. But if you want to you want to protect further the items inside of it, something else that's important is to do a run on the outside of the box. Another run like that on the, on the edge. What that does protects anything from coming to the box. Any dust or any little critters that may want to make their way into the flute of the box, they don't make it. And this is especially important if you are shipping it. Shipping. You never know which path this box is going to take. So you want to make sure you cover every single, every single edge of the box. So that it's fully protected inside, completely. All angles are covered, okay? And that's the bottom of the box. Now, to the top of the box. It's the top of the box is very simple. We, we pre I previously taped a little, added a little tape just to hold it in place here. Again, the, the top of the box, one single run. Like that. Hold it. No pressure. Again, press the tape down. The flaps nicely together. I love the way it turned out, nice and tight. And that's how you do the top. Again, you're shipping. You don't want to just trust that. So we're gonna do a look again. Yes. One more time. One more time. And there we go. Fully taped. Put it around this way. Again, fully taped. Like that. And boom. And you're good. Perfect. Like that. So it's fully taped. Again, this is so add extra coverage, extra protection. And it keeps everything nice and tidy. And no chance of anything making its way inside the box. Okay? And I think that's it for taping a box. Um, also, when you use these tape dispensers, you're going to notice these little teeth. Uh, the cutting the, the, uh, the, blade, the cutting blade. Uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't express the importance of how to use this part. It's very, very, very good when you use it. Is you do a run across, and you want to press down like that. It cuts it nicely for you. Okay. I think I get enough details on how to tape the box. So now you should be able to tape a box nicely, either for shipping or moving. If you want to extra, if it's heavy stuff in there, you want to actually add extra strength to the to the box. Even if it's double wall, I know they're very strong boxes, but adding extra tape also just tightens it up nicely. So when it gets to the destination without any incidents, any cracks, any coming apart, nothing like that, and or anything like that. And also, you'd be surprised how grateful these shipping people are. Newman would be grateful. <laughs> Sorry, this is a joke. Uh, but they, they will be, they're grateful when you tape it really well because the uh, boxes don't always behave really well across the path of the journey. And uh, it's disappointing to a shipper when something comes apart along the way. And uh, I don't think any of them feel happy delivering a box to you at the, end, at your des at the destination where it's coming apart. It's just a bad feeling. So when you take things really nicely, they're grateful. Anytime a shipper picks up a box that's nicely taped and nice and strong, they appreciate it. And keep that in mind. And I think that's it for taping a box. Any questions you may have, uh, post them below. Any suggestions you may have, post them below. Um, 
I mentioned various times, subscribe to the channel if you want to get these the videos on the regular basis. Uh, and I think that's all we can say. Uh, we hope this was helpful. And we're going to come up with other new, other new videos coming up, coming up in the near future. In the meantime, we want to wish you a very happy new year. I know it's just three days away. It's just this coming on Friday. I mean, I know it's actually tomorrow. Wow, you're stepping into 2022. It's going to be great, everyone. We're coming out of a, uh, some hectic two years. 2021 has been kind of it's put everyone to the test. And I know that things are lighting up now, and we hope to see some great things coming up. And uh, lots of moving around, a lot of shipping, and a lot of action. And we hope to be with you all the way, okay? Nice to be with you again, and see you in the new year. Ciao.